I'm here with Joe Steed from Joe Steed's Firearm and Archery, and today is a special uh, video. We're going to be testing out this Tennessee Valley muzzle loading uh, 50 caliber custom left handed flintlock. That, that's quite a mouthful. Beautiful piece. Uh, for us to uh, go through, make a video, test out, and enjoy. So let's get started. Let's do it. I've already pre-cleaned the rifle before it's used, obviously, to ensure that there's no foreign matter in there. Everything looks real nice in the barrel, so we are ready to get started. I'm going to need to load this priming tool with some FFFG powder and get that ready beforehand. Going to be starting off today's testing with 60 grains of powder. That was cool. <laughs> that was that looked cool. I was more excited about shooting it than aiming, honestly. I, 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 I'll, I'm just going to be forthcoming. I got it reasonably in the black, and I'm like, I just want to hear this thing go off. In keeping with tradition, we've pulled out the first bullet of this rifle uh, from the sand. Uh, looks very nice. We'll analyze this one later. Run a cleaning, a couple cleaning patches through it. I generally do two cleaning patches. Oh yeah, it's dirty. It's about par for the course for black powder, just like my Hawken. There's just more barrel to be dirty. Cleans up relatively quick. It's even moisture. I've been getting them all on the uh, target, but very wide grouping. I mean, it's not a tight grouping, but I'm not I'm not being too tough on myself. There's a, a delay in the ignition. It's a new rifle. Uh, everything's a little awkward for me, and that's fine. But what I would like to do is just kick this up to 70 grain and see what happens. So now we're set at 70 grain, and we'll try this out. Let's 
70 grain. There's no kick at all. Just hit with a lot more authority though. A lot more authority, but oh, just, yeah. I don't even feel it. No, good. I don't see where it hit though. So Joe was watching the way that I was holding this rifle. It's entirely different than the Hawken. And I was a little bit back on the rifle and I was tugging it to the left. And that could be seen in all of these shots here pulling down and to the left, right? One, two, three. This was the first shot where I'll admit that I, I simply just guessed. I kind of almost closed my eyes and fired, right? Um, when I did that adjustment, just took this shot right here. And this is with the 70 grain, right? All the other ones were, were pulling to the left. Uh, these two are outliers. I, you know, I don't know what's up, but we're going to uh, repeat again using that technique, uh, taking a look at this one and seeing what happens. So what it was was changing the grip on the gun and then getting a better alignment with the trigger finger to the trigger and easing up on the grip on the gun. And you see it pulls it right back over to the right. And admittedly, the, the sights are more difficult for me to see. I put a, a couple more red red dots there on this particular target at, at 40 yards away. That one little red dot, it's a bit small for me. It's black on black with, with these sights on this gun. You just don't see it line up. The silhouette, it's, it's, it's hard not to get there. a good sight picture. Yeah, absolutely. This was unexpected. Uh, here was the next shot. Put it through the previous shot. So we have uh, uh, some consistency here. Definitely, um, we're gonna keep going. So there is that third shot. It it went right through the hole with the other two. Uh, that is a tight grouping at 40 yards. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to do any Kentucky windage here. What I'm just trying to do is stay consistent, and this rifle uh, clearly is consistent as demonstrated. Like oh, it went clear through the wood. Let's take a look. This is a nice shot, too. Yep, look at that. Look at the back of it. <laughs> oh, that tore out the back. Look at that. That's and if you could see the back of my frame, it took off half of the... Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, geez. So let me get the camera back there. We'll take a look at the frame. So not only did it go through that, let's look at the frame. Yeah, it also took out uh, this big chunk of the stand, as we see here, just off to the left of the clip. It's unfortunate. I apologize. So we see my fan club has arrived. They're in a really bad place for shooting today, aren't they? Yeah. So this time, I uh, shot at a 4x4. Four four. I, I put two there because I'm, I'm not entirely that confident yet, admittedly. And notice, uh, still shooting a bit to the right, you could follow it up to my shots over here right and that may just simply come down to a side adjustment I, I'm probably gonna do no less than 50 shots or so before I decide to start making any adjustments to sights I'm not concerned about that I want consistency not bullseyes I'm not worried about that but check this out Joe Joe let me know if I'm in camera here yep so here's the entrance wound of this 4x4 right it doesn't look like anything right nothing from nothing right there's a four by four chunk of wood it look it at the back of break that off can you see the chunk in there anywhere it split the log i can't see the chunk we're gonna have to take this back up to the uh and, and see how far this thing went through you can see it's deformed and it's bellowed out over here i'd very much like to know this whole log split and it's you can see there's a, a rise right you see that Yep, you can see it in the I want, to know, I want to know how far this bullet went in. This is very much interests me. Yeah, we can so, dig it out. Yeah, let's dig it out. We'll look for it. All right, here we go. Looking for lead. Most people use ballistics gel. We use four by fours. But there it is. So there it is, still pretty much intact. 
That'd be devastating, though. Oh, God, yes. I mean, that, that's through solid wood. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, just over half. Pretty good. Wow. Powerful. I hope you enjoyed this video on the testing of this brand new Tennessee Valley muzzleloading 50 caliber flintlock left-handed rifle. Thanks for watching.